Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. Welcome to the island of Belitung in Sumatra, Indonesia. And special thanks to Sheraton Belitung Island for allowing me to use the beautiful space for our class today. It's an easy flow mat and we're filming it during a sunset on a beautiful day. So let's begin the class. We're gonna start standing upright and we're gonna start with a spinal roll down and then we're gonna ease into the class. So standing nice and tall with the feet, about hip width distance apart, approximately about a fist between your heels. So take a long inhalation. For me, it's, you know, breathing in all the fresh ocean air, but as we exhale, we're gonna roll the spine down, allow the knees to be slightly soft and then take your body all the way down to wherever you feel comfortable today. We're going to inhale at the bottom. Now as you exhale, firmly press the feet down to the ground as we roll the spine up gradually to that standing position. Nice and tall and upright position. We inhale again. Exhale as we nod the head down, softening through the knees and we roll the spine through, staying in flexion as long as we can and then take a pelvis stand with us. We inhale at the bottom, exhale, feeling the feet grounding down to the floor as we lift the abdominal wall up, rolling the spine up, taking into a beautiful, nice and tall spine. Let's do it one more time. We inhale, exhale as we roll down, softening through the knees again. Take it right to wherever you feel comfortable today. Inhale here. Exhale, I'd like you to roll up, but just go halfway. So halfway stand flexion, place your hands on your thigh. As we inhale, we elongate the spine, reaching tall through the spine. As we exhale, we round the spine, going into little cat stretches here. We inhale, lengthen the tailbone out, shine that sternum away. And the head reaching out. Exhale as we round. Again, inhale. We lengthen. We reach. Exhale. We round back. One more time. We inhale. We lengthen. Exhale as we round down. And I'd like you to release the arms and take your body down again. Now here, fingertips to the ground. Stretch the spine long. Creating that beautiful neutral spine. I want, I want you to bend your right knee. Bring your right hand down. And then straighten the left leg. Open the left arm and rotate your trunk up. Reaching the left arm up to the sky. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, we take it down. Now straighten the right leg. Get the left one soft. Opening the right arm across to the sky. Reach out. In breath. Exhale as we take it down. And again, stretch your left leg. Take the left arm up to the sky. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, we take it down. Last one, stretch your right leg. Reach out to the sky. Inhale, exhale, let's take it down. And from here, press the feet down again and roll the spine up. Take it all the way up to standing position. Okay, let's take ourselves down to the ground here. So, have a sit. Sitting nice and tall here. Feet again in parallel position, lifting tall as we exhale. We flex the spine, taking our body into a C curve. Inhale, lift the spine and let squeeze the elbows down to the side of your ribcage and bring our sternum up into slight high release. And upright, exhale, elbows wide, rounding the back, lifting up, reaching up through the sky, elbows squeeze in and come back in again exhale we round we lift up squeezing through the elbows lifting up to the sky last one we round elbows white and elbows squeezing in lifting up through the sky reach up and upright and elbows for round your back take your arms forward let's roll the spine down take it all the way down to the ground arms down by the side bring your feet closer to your bottom and then 
release the head down. Again, your feet are still in the hip width distance apart and the chest nice and open. Prepare for our pelvic curl. We breathe in. Exhale as we rock the pelvis and then we take our pelvis up, articulating vertebrae by vertebrae up to that bridging position. We inhale, spreading out the feet. Exhale as we roll the spine down. Allow the body to just go with the flow here. Exhale. As we roll the spine up again, we're going to start from the tailbone and peeling the spine all the way up to the bridging position. Now at the top position here, engage us in the thigh by pressing the big toes down to the floor and press the arms down. Can we lift the pelvis a little higher here? In breath. Exhale. And we take the spine back down. Let's do two more times, in breath, exhale, abdominals drawing in, imprint the lower back and start rolling up the spine right up to that bridge. Stretching the arms nice and long, long neck, exhale, let's roll it back down, all the way back to the floor, again, in breath, exhale, we roll up, we press the arms, we lift the pelvis, in breath. Exhale and take yourself back down and release. Let's spread your arms out to the T position here and have your feet as wide as your mat. I like you to drop that legs towards me and you can turn your head over to opposite direction for hip rolls. And exhale, come back to center. And an inhale, drop the legs over to the other side. Exhale center. Inhale as you rotate the head in opposite direction. Exhale, center. And again, inhale, drop the legs over to the opposite direction. Exhale. Let's do one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. In breath. Exhale. And walk your feet back to the center. Bringing one leg up to tabletop, hold that center. And a second leg up joining, squeezing the inner thighs together, ready for a spine twist supine. Let's go rotate towards me first as we inhale through the spine or from the waistline. Exhale, we come back. Inhale, we rotate from the waistline. Exhale, center. Again, in breath. Exhale, and inhale, exhale, last one each side, inhale, we rotate, keeping the legs together all the time, exhale, we come back, last one, in breath, exhale, we come back down, or oh, back to center, more like it, bring your arms down by the side, hold that center tight, let's go to leg changes, we lower one foot down, now as we exhale, we switch. Again, we switch. Moving from the hip away, the hip, excuse me, moving from the hip joint. Exhale. Again, we change and we change. One more each side and we change. And then lower both feet down. And slide your arms underneath the head. Ready for a chest lift. We in breath. Exhale, glide the ribcage down as we lift the chest up to the chest lift position. Inhale, stretch forward. And take your arms back. Exhale, come back down. Again, exhale. Inhale, reach and stretch forward. And reach your arms back and come back down again exhale reach forward and arms back and we return last one and reach forward and arms back and come back down and now let's come up forward again here guys and i want you to grab the back of your thighs and lift the chest a little higher now, interlacing the hands behind your head. Let's do chest lift rotation. Let's go to me. And center. Over. And center. Over. Over. 
Last on each side. Come back to center and release down. Take your arms long, stretch it out. Take your legs long, stretch it out. Squeeze the legs together. Ready for the roll ups. We inhale, we lift. Exhale, we're going to come up into that C curve. And again, in breath. Exhale, we roll down and come back. Again, inhale, we lift. Exhale, into that C curve. And hold an in breath. Exhale, we roll back. Arms overhead. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, come back in. Now I'd like you to lift the spine up tall and I need to change direction because I'm losing light because we are on a sunset here. Okay, now I'd like you to bring the knees in. All right, grab the ankle or just above the ankle, ready for rolling like a ball. So balancing on your tailbone here, rounding the back, looking down to that pelvis. Now, once you've got that balance, let's go. And we roll back in and exhale, balance. And we roll back, exhale, balance. Again, roll back, exhale, two more, exhale. Last one, exhale, balance, and lower the feet down, stretch your legs long, spread the legs slightly wider than the pelvis, arms are forward, ready for a spine stretch, we inhale, exhale, as we roll the spine down, and stay here and in breath, exhale, let's roll back up again, Lifting up through the spine again. Exhale, we roll down. Inhale, we stretch a little bit further. Exhale, using the abdominal, roll the spine back up. Again, exhale, we roll down. Inhale, stretch a little bit further. Exhale, we roll it up and upright open your arms up to a t position here lifting nice and tall let's go to spine twist rotate towards me exhale center two more sets Last set, and back to center. Release the arms down, bring your feet a little closer to each other. Bring your hands behind you, ready for our back support here. So you can have a little distance between your heels, about a fist there. Lifting through the spine, opening across the front of the chest. We breathe out, we press up, reach up. The neck is long, press your toes down if you can. Now from here, folding through the hip, keep the chest nice and open. Again, exhale, we'll lift and come back down. Again, exhale, we'll lift and down. Exhale, again, two more times. Hinge down and last one. We'll lift and return. Let's turn facing me. Let's go to side kick. So bring your forearm down to the floor. Lengthening through the spine here. Reach the top arm behind you. I like you to lift the underneath waistline up. Reaching the top leg long. Dorsi flex the foot. And let's go forward as we exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And three, two, last, back, hold that leg there, stretch the top arm away, reach across and stay here for three, two, one, and back to center. From here, I'd like you to have the top leg behind you. 
Okay, a little side bridge here. We breathe that will lift. And lengthen down. Again, reach that lift. And lengthen down. Two more lift. And lengthen down. Last one lift. And coming down. Bending the knees here. A little mermaid position. Reach your arms across. I like you to lean diagonally away. And from here, we're going to bring the other arm, the top arm, sweeping across the floor, reaching up. And open. Again, two more times, sweeping across the floor. And open. Last one, hand across. And open. Lift up. And a little side bend here. And release. Okay, let's switch over to the other side. We've got our side kick on your forearm. Reach the leg long. Bring the top arm behind you. Top leg up. Dorsiflex the top foot. And let's go forward. Inhale. Again. Three more set. Two more. Last one. Stay back there. Stretch the top arm away. Reach out. Stay there for three, two, one, and release. Okay, we're going to spread the leg. Reach long. Let's go to a side bridge. We lift up and down. Again, lift up and down and lift and last one. I think we did an extra one here, but that's okay. So it's a bonus and then come back down. Well done. All right. Bring the legs in to a little mermaid position here. Take your arms out to the side here. Stay nice and tall. Lean away. Bottom arm down. And let's sweep the arm across the floor. And opening. Again. Sweep the arm across the floor. And we open. Last one here. And sweep the arm across the floor. And we opened and then recruit your obliques lift up a little side bend stretch over and release that let's go to our quadruped position here align your heel of the palm and the shoulder and the knee with the center of your hip your spine nice and long we breathe out let's go into cat stretches we round the back and an elongate the spine. As we inhale, glide the upper chest back into, up into an extension. And exhale, we round. And lengthen through the spine, lifting the upper back. And last one, exhale, rounding the back. And lengthening through the spine, reach the chest forward and up, and come back to that neutral position here. And I'd like you to take the front arm out to the side. This is my left arm. Let's bring the left arm down, or the arm down underneath you, and reach out the opposite direction for a little tread a needle position here or stretch you can also stretch the other arm out across in front of you or overhead and inhale reach in opposite direction and then let it go bring the top arm in press up and go back to our quadruped position let's go to the other arm arm out to the side down underneath the armpit and reach out across and away and then if you feel comfortable you can reach the other arm overhead you're going to stretch your arm about 
you know, you could imagine 12 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Or 12 and 3 o'clock. And reach out, lengthen out. And release that. Bring the top arm in. And then the other arm down. And then from here, let's do two more cap stretches. We breathe that. Exhale. Rounding. And then lifting the upper back up into the extension. Last one. Exhale. And then lifting up into the extension. And then tuck your toes under. Lift the pelvis up. Reach up into that pyramid position, upstretch position here. Push the floor away. And then lower the right, the right heel it down. A little prancing. And lift up and the left. And a left and a right. And lift. Keeping the neck nice and long. Try to reach out the tail away from the spine. Nice and control. Using the breath to move through the ankle joint. And again, one way each side. And lifting up. Lower the feet down. A little extra stretch here. We in breath and stay in this upstretch position. Exhale, one more breath. Inhale, exhale, rise up onto your toes, lower the knees down, and let's go down to the floor. Let's go into single leg kick here. So, opening across the front of the chest, forearm down to the floor, reaching the spine long, lifting the leg up, and let's go. Right leg. And in breath, and in breath, and exhale, and exhale, and in breath, and in breath, and I like you to power the arms through to the floor, lifting up the abdominal here, and last set, and stretch the legs long, lifting up the spine a little bit more. And then bring the chest down, bring the forearm on the side of your body, push the flow away, rounding the back. A quick rest position here. And then roll the spine up. And then here, let's take the right foot forward. Okay, like you tuck the back toes under. And then lifting up the back knee, reaching up through the spine. And now you're gonna cap your arms out to the side or you can have your hands down onto your thigh. Now from here, I like you to lift the abdominal up, tuck the back knee down, and then stand away for the little lunge series. And tuck the back knees down. And extend one more. And we tuck. And we extend, lift the arms up. Reaching up to the sky, holding strong in your center. And then bring your arm down. Dorsiflex the front foot, stretch the front leg. A little quick hamstring stretch here. And lower the foot down. Go back to a lunge. And come back down. And switch the leg over. All right, lifting the back knee off, arms out to the T position or on your thigh if you need to. And from here, knee down and reach out and knee down and reach out. It's such a beautiful island here, beautiful hotel, be beautiful location, the Sheraton. Spe special thanks to the Sheraton, I can't even talk anymore now because I'm just looking forward to the ocean. And I wish you can see it too. It's just so gorgeous. And reach out. Last one. And then reach out. Lift the arms up to the sky. Strong in your center. And release the arm down. Dorsiflex the front foot. And straighten the front leg for a quick hamstring stretch. And then release that. Go back to a lunge. Hands down, release the back, 
the foot to the back to an up stretch position. One more up stretch in breath. And I'd like you to walk your feet to your hands. Resting your body down onto your thigh. Release the neck, release the tension of the neck to shoulder. Long inhalation here, and then as we exhale, rolling up through the spine. Coming up, vertebrae by vertebrae to a beautiful, nice and tall position. Inhale. Exhale. And we're all done. Thank you for joining me today. Again, special thanks to the Sheraton for our beautiful location for today's class. I wish all of you a beautiful day. Thank you. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.